What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Batman. And before we even continue to even do this reaction video or anything, anything more further, I'm back, guys. I'm officially back from vacation. I'm going to be posting... Ugh. I'm going to be posting, a, like, a video, um, you know, of basically, like, either just pictures of me on vacation at Hawaii, and then I'll also be posting, you know what I mean, like, some video clips and stuff like that. It was amazing. It was incredible. I wish I was able to do more. I wish I even had more time, um, but just realistically, like money-wise and responsibility-wise and stuff like that, you know, the world doesn't stop spinning, and, you know, if you ain't rich, you can only have so much fun, okay? So, um, but those videos will be coming out soon, so, you know, this way, if you guys are just curious, you know, like, some pictures or videos and whatnot, and basically the vibes from Hawaii, um, if you guys have not been there, I definitely definitely recommend if you ever are able to save up or you know or you know you have the money like that or whatever um definitely advise to go there um and shit what i wasn't able to do i wasn't able to do all the islands i was only able to go on one island i went to honolulu if i'm even saying that correctly um and basically i did almost everything i basically did as much as i could um the only thing i didn't get to really do was the ranch um, it's like an area where they did all the Jurassic Park filming and for all the movies and stuff like that. And they have like zip lining, you know, all kinds of stuff you can do. It's really fun. I wasn't able to do that because it's only during certain months that they ha have available tickets for or they're just sold out. Um, and then there is another event thing that they had, but it was the same thing. It was either sold out or, you know, um, some other stuff. So, but for the majority, I did almost everything. Um, I didn't get to do snorkeling. I didn't get to... You know, uh, do like shark cage diving and stuff like that. Like there was still a certain amount of stuff that would have been really fucking fun to do. They even had a, a Hawaii wet and wild park down there. Like it was crazy. So I didn't get to do everything, but I did the majority. Like if I had to rate it percentage wise, I'd say I did 80% of what I could do. At least for all the fun shit to do tourist wise and or just fun things, entertainment, you name it. So I had a lot of fun. It was also my birthday month. Uh, my birthday is June 1st if you guys didn't know. Um... So it was, you know, a trip for a vacation as a cel celebration for my birthday um, and most importantly for my anniversary because my anniversary is also in the month of May. Um, so I went down there, me and my girlfriend, we had a great time. It was, it was fun. It was awesome. Um, she loved it. Great experiences overall. So and that's kind of what I was doing and why I was busy and why I had so much, you know, reaction videos. And I think I only had like one gaming video I posted or two, two while I was gone. Um, so I do apologize for the absence, but... That's basically why, if you guys didn't know. So if you don't follow my Twitter, which is VI Batman VI, that has all my updates of things either personal or times I might be taking some breaks or, you know, whatever the case may be. Basically, if you want any freaking updates, that's the place to go. If you want to really communicate with me, you can go there as well. Or you can go to my Discord or you can comment on YouTube. Doesn't matter. Um, what's it called? But either way. That's kind of what the update was. So those videos will be out. I still have to go through my photos and videos and kind of like combine them all and make like a whole, you know, little movie thing of it. Um, but yeah, so that's basically going to be that. And uh, just want to kind of let you guys know as for anything future wise of what to do from here on out. Um, we're still be having some Naruto content for the month of June. Um, we are going to be finishing Dead Space because we're at the end of that game. I'm pretty sure we're almost done with it. Um, and then for my next Let's Play series, I don't want it to be something that would take me longer than a month to beat. Um, I want it to be something that I can be able to do pretty real reasonably or realistically. Um, and it's either going to be a Mario game, um, because my girlfriend bought me like this Mario package game for the Nintendo Switch. It had like Super Mario Sunshine, which if you guys have not seen that series, I have a playlist of that. And I did the whole game. Fucking hilarious. You guys would love it. If you want to see me rage or get pissed... You know, or just enjoying the game overall, by all means, go to that series. It's it's pretty fun. It's pretty great. Um, but anyways, um, but it has Mario Sunshine, it has like Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Nintendo 64. And if you guys don't know what that is, that's like the, the painting uh, Mario game where it's like, you know, where all the freaking paintings are and you got to like go through them and you do like all kinds of shit, you know. So I never actually beat that game on Nintendo 64 and it came out kind of like again for the switch as like a bundle thing and i was like hey you know and uh, my girlfriend she got it and i'm gonna be real which i don't know about you guys if you guys are like nintendo fans or gamecube or nintendo 64 or whatever but there's some games that came out back then when i was very young 
um, that were just goaded. That were just amazing. So fun. You know what I mean? Like, there was some, there's Xbox games that were so good. You got freaking Wii games, GameCube, Nintendo, you name it. You know what I mean? And so it's like when those things either come back out remastered or better yet, they're just available to play on, like, the newest console. It's like, yes. You know what I mean? Because then you don't have to go out spending hundreds of dollars finding the actual game or using an actual Nintendo 64. Don't get me wrong. It's badass if you have that. But them things, bro, once they're done, they're done. And they're so sensitive. You you just, you just touch it. The game is frozen. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, um, but overall, enough of me blabbing about that. It's going to be the focus of this month. And on top of it, guys, um, I will, I'm probably going to do an update video um and i'll say, elaborate more further um before you know um but i'm not gonna say too much on this the month of june is gonna be a little hectic so i do have some personal things come up the reason why i was gone for a couple days is because i was kind of just getting accustomed back to the time change uh, if you guys didn't know in hawaii it's a six hour difference so i was getting back you know used to the time eastern wise and you know and trying to catch up on sleep and just be ready you know um i was kind of recuperating mentally as well um, and I just had a lot of things, you know, and whatnot, and I still have a crap ton of stuff I got to do. Um, but, you know, I'm finally getting back into the swing of things. And on top of that, um, towards the end of this month, I'm also going to have to move. So I'm going to be in the process of moving and being in a whole other place, a new setup and whatnot. So that's going to be a fucking process. So the month of June is going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy, crazy month. And I'm still working full time while also streaming and recording for you guys. So... A lot of shit on my plate, you know, a lot of things I'm doing. It's going to be tough, but we're, we're going to we're gonna go through it. We'll make it work, and uh, like I said, you know, we're gonna, I'm going to do as much as possible as I can for the month of June. Be tons of Naruto stuff, vibes, uh, gaming videos, and that'll basically be that. And once we get into the month of July, I cannot promise I will update you guys on what's going on, but I cannot promise that... I will be making content consistently like I have been doing for the past months. So it's either going to be a pretty, uh, not a very long period, but like I said, I'll, I'll elaborate further on and, and you name it, but there's some changes coming up and it's not permanent changes. It's just temporary. Okay. And then there's also going to be another thing that's going to be way down the road. Um, I don't even want to talk about that yet um, because that is most definitely going to happen, but I'm not sure yet. Um, and at the end of the day, guys, everything that I do in my personal life is for you guys as well. for To help me be a content creator, a YouTuber, a streamer, and to make incredible content for you guys. So that's the reason why I do the decisions I do. You know, and at the end of the day, it's, it's for you guys to allow me to have better, you know, um, equipment, to perform better when I'm recording, to have better quality of recordings, you know, an editor one day to pay the whole fucking nine yards. You know what I mean? So overall, appreciate your guys' patience. There will be changes. This month is going to be crazy, so bear with me. If for some reason there's a day that I did not post, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? But bear with me in this month of June, and when we get close to July, or when it gets to July, I will make a video and let you guys know what the current update and what's going on. So... All right, but we're going to get into this video, and enough of me blabbering. Let's react to Six's video. Let's do it. So this video title, um, I believe it was, what's it called? Let me get this changed on my computer. I'm over here looking at the OBS screen. Um, <clears throat> so the video title is The Harsh Reality of Liking Naruto. So it's actually really interesting because, I'll be honest, like, I'm really curious what this is going to be, you know, and at first I thought this is like a video, because I, I listened about 27 seconds in, I thought this was going to be a video of like something six kind of taking like a certain mentality on or a certain, you know, discussion uh, topic about like, you know, po podcast vibes or whatever. And I was like, man, this guy really comes up with interesting things to discuss when it comes to Naruto. But then next, you know, it's a CBR article and it's basically off that and him either debunking it or giving his input and reacting to that while I react to what he says into that. You know what I mean? So we're technically reacting to two things. It's going to be our first CBR article and to your boy six. We've done plenty of reaction videos for him. He's kind of a guy that's come along in the content creation of, of things for YouTube and Arto. He's growing crazy in subscribers. He's a really good uh, YouTuber, especially for uh, Naruto. 
um, and has tons of good videos. So if you guys have not seen his YouTube channel, check him out. He has incredible videos. Um, what's it called? And, and he's pretty good when it comes to Naruto. And if you're passionate about it, it might be for you too. You know what I mean? So, um, and overall, this channel, not only is it for our own Naruto content videos or games or maybe even, you know, episode reactions or just reaction to Naruto vids, period. You know, that's what my channel consists of. So, but yeah, we're going to be getting into our, again, with our boy Six. If it's a good video, we're giving him a damn like. You best believe it. And, uh, yeah, that's basically going to be that. So, let's get into it and let's see. Who I don't agree with at all. And one of them I kind of want to talk about heavily. So, the article's by Jasper Shapiro. So, you know, credit to him or whatever. And I'll leave it linked in the description if anyone wants to check it out for themselves or anything else they may have written. I'll also leave Eli's channel linked in the description. Obviously, subscribe to him. He doesn't upload very often, but he does upload. Um, And obviously, subscribe to me as well and, and like the video. This is 10 you harsh realities out. of being a Naruto fan. Number one, I already heavily disagree with. I would agree with this one. You can let me know if you agree with me or not eli i would agree with this one if naruto was still airing weekly um if it wasn't available on multiple websites for you to just watch with multiple filler guides where you can just skip all the filler but yeah 2022 this is not an issue do you agree yeah there's literally not an issue at all for filler ever you can just skip it and if you're into a person that likes filler Filler half the time is usually good. I like some of the Naruto filler. Like it's really heat. So I feel like if you are gonna watch Naruto, watch some of it. Cause the filler be the filler be bomb, bro. Yeah. I'll be honest. They basically nailed it. Like when it comes to filler in Naruto, not only is it really easy to search up what episodes are filler and what is that you know, the like the main part of the canon storyline, you know, but um at the end of the day, like filler it's it's actually a good thing for naruto it's not a bad thing for one what they were saying which i do like appreciate the fact that how they kind of elaborated on that not only is most of the filler pretty fucking good and it's actually really entertaining or really cool but it actually gives you more insight on things that we have that you don't really see often or stuff that you would more than likely talk about you know what i mean because you never saw it and it was during the filler and you're like oh filler i'm not watching it you know what i mean like, for instance, there's a there's a, a filler arc. It's called Power, where it's with Kabuto kind of, like, testing the waters with his Edo Tensei and all that and utilizing the Akatsuki members. And Naruto Kakashi and Guy and Rock Lee and some other people have to come up and kind of investigate and deal with and whatnot. And it's an amazing fucking filler arc. It's really fucking cool. You know, and at the end of the day, one thing you guys got to realize as well is all because it's filler doesn't mean necessarily that, oh, well, that never happened or... Or, nah, that's fucking stupid, or it doesn't even, like, no. Whenever, when it comes to filler, nine times out of ten, not only does the filler is consistent with what is within the canon story, and, like, the things you're either seeing actually make sense, or better yet, correlates with what is, you know, part of the main, you know, episodes or the manga, you know, like, it's not like you're seeing, like, some nonsense or something out of this world, and most importantly, it's mainly just providing more insight and providing more things that are consistent throughout Naruto. And it's just so enjoyable, if that makes any sense. Like, for instance, like, you know, in the manga and in the anime, you see Guy, like, using what? I think it was the fifth or... It was either the fifth or sixth gate during the war arc fighting against the V2s, you know, and kind of dealing with them, right? In the power, him and Rock Lee go to fifth gate and he's over here, like, they're over here bodying Four Tails Naruto. Like, they're just giving him the fucking hands. You know what I mean? Like, we're talking about shit like that. And that's something you generally wouldn't see. You know what I mean? And then, like, not only that, like, you could have people be like, oh, well, you know, fucking Rock Lee or Guy can never fight the Four Tails. Which, I don't know why someone would ever try to argue that. But let's say there's someone out there, like, that downplays the gates or thinks it's trash or whatever. And they're like, oh, yeah, it can never be able to contend with the Four Tails Naruto or whatever. Like... One thing what people don't understand, it's literally shown. It's in the fucking power filler arc. And it's incredible. And it's really freaking cool. So, like, overall, like, you know, it's really good stuff. It's really good stuff. And the only thing I will say on the canon aspects of things, one thing you guys have to remember is Kishimoto still supervises it and has to go over it and give whatever, I can't remember the animation people, what their name is, give them 
the not only the approval to to upload and do it, but the thumbs up is like, you know what? I actually like that. That's fine. You know what I mean? And so when it gets to the whole like, oh, this never happened or who cares? You know what I mean? Whatever. You can't really go off that or scale that or this and that. That's not the case. You you can use filler to not only scale people or to get even more info and more analysis on characters and whatnot to form your arguments, to form, you know what I mean, like versus battles or just concepts or what ifs, whatever the case may be. It is beneficial and it does help you. It goes a long way. Um, and then not only that, like I said, you know what I mean, like to be able to argue against people that could say, oh, it's not canon or it never happened, whatever. Kishimoto is the one that did it at the end of the fucking day. It's that fucking simple. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it, it, you know, like, I can get into a whole other fucking thing with it, you know, from XYZ on why that's legit and you can't, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like something crazy to say or whatever. But then you got the people that are like either just very stubborn or fucking with brains of rocks or whatever. And if it's not only manga, doesn't matter. Or if it's not only you know, manga and the anime that covers the main stuff, doesn't matter, whatever. You do have people like that out there, and at the end of the day, they're just not more open-minded, and they're not more to, like, just be con either, not really considerate, but just to, to have an understanding of why people even use it, talk about it, or argue for it being canon as well. So, I'm not going to get too far into it, but yeah, filler is actually a good thing in Naruto. It's not a bad thing. There's tons of animes that I've heard about that are horrendous when it comes to filler. Like, it's either just stupid, or it's not consistent with what the main stuff, or it's just crazy long, or there's more of that in the actual story. Like, so, overall, Naruto does a great fucking job. Definitely agree. It's a lot of benefits to it, and it actually is enjoyable. Like, if I were to re-watch Naruto again, you know what I mean? I would watch the filler. I actually would. I would not mind it. And then not only that, um, you know what I mean? Like, it's just it's just really good. You know what I mean? Now, if I were to, like, let's say do, like, episode reactions and stuff like that, hell no. I'll just stick to the main shit. But, um, but yeah. So, that's my take on that. But whatever you guys think or curious, let me know in the comments. And that would be that. I mean, I hear a lot of people say that anyway, that some of the Naruto filler is good. Um, me, myself, I've I've only seen, like one filler arc but yeah so i won't i won't comment on if it's bad or not you know eli y'all have eli for that but you know i it's don't not. agree with this at all naruto slowly deviates from a story about ninja it, th this shit was almost never about ninja like let's be honest the, naruto has its own interpretation of what a ninja is, he is scrolling down or, or should no? be i don't know and as one who wields ninjutsu, can blast the water out the out the lakes and whatnot, we literally see Kakashi and Zabuza going at it. Twelve chapters in, few episodes in, they're launching water missiles and dragons at each other. The Sharingan can like see through different magics, according to Sasuke, at least early in the manga. Uh, Kakashi's putting Zabuza under illusions. Haku's using ice mirrors. Fucking Orochimaru invaded the Leaf Village um, with a bunch of giant fucking snakes. He summoned yeah. two Kage from the dead. Like, Naruto was never about stealthy ninja, really. Yeah. Yeah, like, if you take the actual concept of Naruto, then yeah, sure. But then again, that statement doesn't really work, to be honest. And the reason why is because, in my opinion, it actually does focus on ninja. It does a pretty fucking good job, especially in the beginning of Naruto. I feel like you probably would get the most traditional value of what a ninja is in the beginning. And then once you kind of start diving into, like, Shippuden territory, then you kind of start losing, the, you know what I mean, the emphasis of a ninja and all that, and the aspects of it. And then especially when you get to, like, the war arc and... And then fucking Boruto now, like, it's like, okay, what's a fucking ninja? Like, we're watching, you know, Dragon Ball or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, so, I can understand it to a degree, but when you really look at it in, like, a broad spectrum or really analyze it from multiple perspectives, it actually is a ninja show. It still is. And, and it's, it's a ninja, it's heavily, heavily still ninja, like a story about ninja. Okay, 
but in its own unique way, if that makes any sense. Like, you have people that are using kunines, you know what I mean, and martial arts, and just like ninja or stealth, you know what I mean, all that crap. There's a lot of elements of ninja in it. It is there, okay? But the only difference is that it's just that, you know what I mean? You know, they're putting, like, more fictional value to it, like, you know what I mean, the Shotgun, the Rinnegan, Sage Mode, Ninjutsu, then you have Genjutsu, you know what I mean, like, and stuff like that, and it just makes it more badass and more interesting. Basically, it's a super, it's like a superpower ninja show, you know what I mean? It's ninjas, but with superpowers. And, spoiler alert, okay, this is a spoiler, so if you guys don't want to hear it, fucking skip, like, maybe 30 or, or, or 60 seconds in, okay, eventually it, you know they fi all find out that the reason why they have all these superpowers okay is because it came from fucking aliens you know <laughs> like and that's what the essence of you know chakra and all that and it was you know from aliens and from fucking space and came down and that's why they can do all this stuff and you name it so like overall naruto is heavily focused on t the concept of ninja but not like the hardcore traditional value of it that makes any sense and if there really is any remote traditional value of the concept of ninja i would definitely say it's definitely shown in the beginning of naruto when like they're kids you know and all that so that's my take on that i'm gonna they're obviously gonna elaborate a little bit more further but really you know i don't i don't really see that as an issue and i don't really see that being true either you know to a degree but not really. And when you really look at it, it's like, eh, nah. You know what I mean? So that's just me, though. Like, if you were just expecting Naruto of these people just putting on headbands and just having kunais and just fighting in taijutsu fights all the time, you know what I mean? And more like, you know, shit like that and whatnot, like, you know, you got other shit for that. You know what I mean? You got fucking, you got Batman, you got fucking actual ninja anime, animated shows, you know? Like, there's, there's actual stuff for that. So... In my opinion, that's an unfair critique, and it's kind of silly. And when you really look at it on a whole, it was always about a ninja. It was still a ninja, just unique in its in its own way and with more fictional value. That's it. And bro, and even Naruto. I mean, that's what he literally like helps people learn. People get their own ninja way through the series. I mean, we do it. Uh, we see it through like Sakura. Lee. I boosted my credit. Nobody cares. Lee, we see through a lot of character. I mean, he just helps people develop their own ninja way and express it. Yeah, like Sasuke's ninja way is um being an Avenger or you know ramming his hatred into the world, as Obito puts it. Yep. Hinata's got the same one as Naruto. I mean, it's literally just it doesn't fit the Hollywood definition of a ninja, I guess you could say, or the um the traditional Japanese ninja. But I mean, like I said own interpretation blah, blah 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 and then even then it, how is the harsh reality of being a naruto fan like nothing yeah, i mean what's what's so yeah bad exactly. it's, it's stupid yeah <laughs> what did you plan like coming <laughs> in they were gonna be wearing like the black like suits with the right glass. they were gonna be doing like assassinations like, like oh around. harsh reality and then naruto is what top three selling manga of all time or something like that actually it might not be top. maybe it's i know for sure it's top 10 though so I don't know. I'm Jump not. There. Naruto I'm not should be top with three. Number died. I Do haven't I, seen. There's a lot of good animes that I haven't seen, but from what I've seen so far, in my opinion, Naruto definitely is top three. You guys probably think I'm capping on that or crazy. Naruto's an incredible show. Rumors prevalent now. <laughs> <laughs> Eli, I'm gonna let you talk about this one first because I feel like you have less to say than I do. Um, I think it is kind of prevalent. Uh, I don't know. Six might disagree with me, but Sasuke could have should have been died in some of these situations. Like even the even the point there. I think I don't know if he should have got away from B or from uh, or if he would have got lucky enough for Obito to save him in the Fakage Summit. But that, that's all I got to say. You can go. Um, I'm only gonna comment on Sasuke as well because I think when people bring up this plot armor point. A lot of it is just to do with Sasuke. Oh, Sasuke in the data fight. Sasuke in the B fight. And the Kage something like Eli just mentioned. I think Sasuke's ability to put together a team or have a kit that can 
get him out of those specific situations literally the reason the team was made is just is just a, a, a sasuke w if anything plot armor generally is used as like a negative for a show even like in this article they're using it as a negative a harsh reality of being a naruto fan but like take a look at naruto versus uh not naruto take a look at sasuke versus datara just a second time the first time datara attacks sasuke he throws a bomb at him and sasuke evades with the snake the second time it or well not the second time but the last time it happens the one everyone has an issue with datara is launching the bomb and then we just see sasuke escaped he got suigetsu resummon him which is something they planned for before yeah so this is these are things sasuke already thought of and ways to get out of these specific situations he's like if this symbol ever pops up on this seal he tells suigetsu summon him back to the real world and then with b sasuke gets beat up by b badly but he's got teammates right there who can save him and get him out of that situation Carl. Yeah, so there's there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I'm going to be real with you. I'm definitely all the way for what Six is saying. So for it being plot armor, hell no. Now, if I were to really go into Naruto, I can probably be able to maybe find some things that might be plot armor-ish, you know, whatever. Like, that, that's a whole other can of worms, and I'm not really going to get into that. In my opinion, I think Naruto does actually an incredible job of not really having plot armor. Speaking of plot armor, I was going to make a, a video on this, so I'm not going to elaborate too far on this or whatever, but I believe there is... I could be wrong, but I believe there is one plot armor moment that I do think is legit, and it's with Obido, okay? Um, I'm not going to say what it is. It would probably just be a separate video that I'll do, like, just related to plot armor or, like, all the points in Naruto that I believe were plot armor or whatever, you know what I mean? Or maybe I'll even look for, like, some articles to where it says, oh, these are plot armors or whatever the case may be, you know? Um, but overall, like, fucking, you know, Naruto does a great job of kind of staying away from that. And they have things kind of incorporated into it to where it makes sense and it can work and it can't be really seen as plot armor. It's just because they did it so intelligently it works, you know what I mean? So, and for Sasuke, just like what Six said, he's a planner. He's not a fucking idiot. The guy is really intelligent, okay? And he's just prepared for situations just in case if shit kind of hits the fan or he needs to retreat or fall back, or whatever. Like, Sasuke's just goaded in that nature. He's, he's pu pulling some fucking Batman type shit, some prep shit, you know? To where he's just, he's just ready. And that's kind of something that is consistent and in character, you know what I mean? Like, that's just how it goes, you know? So I don't really see in that being plot, you know? Like, that's just me. But overall, you know, we'll move forward from that. And I'm all the way 100% agreeing with Six on this one. Like, it's just, I don't I don't see the issue with it. Especially when it comes to Sasuke at the very least. Pain to heal, and then eventually Jugo to heal. So I think Sasuke just keeps people around him to help him and you know to bring him up that's why he has the team in the first place i forget which comp character in the manga actually comments on this and tells us like oh what a what a good idea for sasuke to put these specific people uh specific set of people together but you know it does happen so i don't really think it's plot armor in that sense i think it's just sasuke being a genius like he is yeah yeah. Uh, like like he fighting. come on like he knows he ain't no fucking Madara or Hashirama or a Minato you know what I mean like or better get his brother Itachi like he just ain't built like that yet you know so he can't really just do shit on his own like that you know what I mean like and so yeah like teamwork goes a long fucking way you know or better get strategizing and kind of doing some prep work to make sure that if things do go wrong you have a get out of jail free card basically you know what I mean so it's yeah it, it is in character it's not plot armor B was crazy bro I'm yeah, sorry so so kind of was crazy was kind of crazy it like we look out but yeah Tal no Jutsu determines the outcome of important battles instead of strength oh my gosh <laughs> oh I hate my this God, so bad bro, all, all I'm gonna say is like remember that uh Naruto always uh talks second bro he fights first talks second bro that's all I'm gonna say he literally yep. beats them up 
And then he's like, all right, bro, I'm going to give you a chance to, like, come over, bro. Like, look at all these people, bro. Literally, it is so goddamn consistent, bro. Like, that, literally what they just said. Unless my memory and I'm tripping or whatever, and you guys can let me know in the comments. Fucking Naruto basically throws hands, and it's like, all right, listen, buddy. Enough is enough. Let's go back to my crib and, and you know, and, and drink some tea or something, you know, or, or eat some ramen or play some games, whatever, okay? And if you don't listen... Then he just gives you more hands and takes you away, or he kills you. That's simple. You know what I mean? Like, it's never just like, let me just talk my way out of this because if I don't, then I'm fucked. You know, it's like, no, it's never the fucking case, ever. Like, the talk no jutsu thing, from what I've seen and heard so far in the Naruto community and, and etc., it's more seen as a comical type thing, or more as of like, damn that's just that's a broken ass jutsu like what do you do you know what i mean like shit like that more for comedy reasoning not really something to kind of critique or downplay like that's really fucking silly if people really want to come out and be like oh the harsh reality of liking naruto is because talk no jutsu like what the fuck it's stupid and I'm, you guys like even in our world even in the real fucking world being able to talk and actually communicate either to your audience or to your family or to your best friend or even to someone that may not even agree with your standings, you know, whether if you're debating or if it's political, whatever the case may be. It goes a long fucking way if you are able to really talk and appeal to people's hearts and allow them to maybe or potentially understand what you're saying or to just be able to connect in a way that most people can't, you know what I mean? It goes a long fucking way. It's very rare for people to have that ability. It is an actual thing. You guys you guys made this thing all oh, no, it's bullshit fictional. It is a fucking thing. I'm telling you right now, from my own personal experiences, to actually be able to talk with someone and for both of you to understand and then be able to relate, or better yet, just be able to persuade them or even change their perspective, or better yet, just give them a broader perspective on things. You know, it goes a long fucking way. And nine times out of ten, whenever he did the talk no jutsu, whatever, it was the character at his mercy. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, oh, that's how he got out of the situation. You, you know what I mean? Like, so it's not really, it's really not a critique you can use, especially for the concept of liking Naruto. It's very fucking stupid and silly. And once again, I would definitely have to agree with Six and the other guy. I, I forgot his name already. I do. I apologize. But, you know, that's just that. I'm done ranting on it. Let's let them continue and go from there. But Naruto also... He's not really a talk first person. Exactly. And Naruto doesn't talk always either. When did Naruto try to talk no Jutsu Madara? Yeah. When did Naruto try to talk no Jutsu Kakuzu? Never, because he knows those It would not people. work. Yeah. Because, you know, like Sasuke said, you can read each other's minds when you're high enough level shinobi, blah, blah, blah. He tried to talk to Obito... Because Obito, he felt was like conflicted. He change him. Yeah, Talk Obito was conflicted. He was very conflicted. Or better yet, there was more to him than, than met the eye, if you get what I'm saying. And Naruto is very good at reading people's hearts and picking up on those things and everything. And it's not that he's good at exploiting that. It's just once he kind of sees that, oh yeah, there may be light at the end of the tunnel for this guy. He'll try to reach out and bring him to that light. Because he knows he they have been there before. You know what I mean? Or there is for some reason or way that they can be able to connect that way. And what would that do? It forms peace or it, for, it forms a positive domino effect. And it doesn't have to incite any more violence or drama or, or problems. You know what I mean? So overall, absolutely. Turn him around. He just tried to kill Madara. He just met Kakazu and he tried to hit him with the strongest jutsu he yeah. just developed. Do <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> when did he try to talk to Orochimaru? Yeah. Like, so Naruto doesn't always talk people down. He didn't even talk Sasuke down. He tried, but then he beat his ass instead. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this is such a an annoying point, especially in 2022. This article came out, what? five days ago damn damn <laughs> like talk no jutsu if anything instead of it being a harsh reality it's like a great one yeah like, i'm i'm glad this is in naruto no yeah it's talk it's, no jutsu is he, it, 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 it's 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 amazing like the talk no jutsu aspect side of things it it really goes a long fucking way 
it not only does it show the humanity aspects and the realistic variations of it being relatable for you and your personal life and experiences, there's just so much to it that really speaks volumes about it and goes a long fucking way. Like, come on, bro. When he's having a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Nagato, when it's with Obito, when it, you know what I mean, like, or Sasuke and, and you know, and et cetera, like, them shit, it, it, it just hits different. You know what I mean? It, it, it makes the, the anime so much more than a typical fictional fighting anime or, you know, or the, the same bowl. You know what I mean? Like, because of this being even a thing in the first place is what made Naruto so unique and made it kind of stand out compared to other animes, you know? And it's just so relatable, you know? So, absolutely. Way too much hate. I don't know why... Like, it, it gets so much hate, they even named it a jutsu. <laughs> like, they Literally. call it Tokido Jutsu. Like, it's, it's, it's good, bro. Like, it's actually heat. It's a good thing, yeah. Yeah, I think people are just like, fight, 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 fight. Like, that's all they care about. So, like, when they see these things, they're like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Tokido Jutsu is not bad. Female characters lack of development. Do you agree with this? I love, love, love. Okay. You know, inappropriate. Yeah, I, this one. Uh, I think after rewatching part one, I think Sakura has amazing development and the whole thing she has with Eno, I think is really good. And when she ties her uh, headband around her forehead, I thought that was greatness. Uh, I think they actually have one of the best fights in the June exams. But other than that, I can't think Interesting. of anyone else that got development. Like, Tsunade yeah. was like, she did kind of step up to the plate. She was like a drunk. So, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. My whole take on the woman type thing, yes and no. I will say that. Kishimoto was weird when it came to women in Naruto. Most definitely made it apparent of men being the, the superior ninja, okay? And Sinade was when he really, really did some justice of showing that females have the same potential, the same danger in, in X, Y, and Z. And then he did some pretty good writing when it came to Sonate and basically set up a lot of inspirations with other female ninja. Okay. And Sakura, you have the bad and then you have the good. It eventually gets better and better and there is a lot more good that weighs out the bad, in my opinion, when it gets to Sakura. So I don't think it was too bad or whatever. I actually think the opposite that there was more development because if there was a lack, a lack of development obviously indicates that it either gets worse or it's just inconsistent. You know what I mean? And it definitely got better, especially for the character of Sakura. Definitely did. Um, not only that, you know what I mean, with Hinata, with the Biakugan, I thought that was fucking really cool. Um, uh, sure enough, I'm even saying her name right. Fucking how with Genjutsu and shit, that shit was really fucking cool and badass. Not a lot of, you know what I mean? Like, so I, I don't, I don't know. I don't fully agree with that. You know, I think that's kind of stupid. Um, I think it's kind of a hit and miss depending on how you're looking at it. Then yes and no. But for the most part of it, I thought Kishimoto did a pretty good job with the females in Naruto. Um, and then better yet, like Kushina, she was a fucking beast. You know what I mean? Like, you know, so, and then you have Kage. A, a, you know what I mean? A female and the strongest threat towards the end. Like, come on now. You know what I mean? Like, so, I don't know. I, I would say... I wouldn't say it's uh, the... Heart, you know what I mean? A harsh reality of like an art to is the lack of development of female care. Uh, I wouldn't fully agree with that. That's just me, though. Like, I don't want to elaborate too further on that. But that's just me. Let me know what you guys think or whatever. Now, there was a lot of annoyance or certain things that did kind of piss me off when it came to females in the character uh, of show Naruto. Even my girlfriend, like, kind of agreed and was like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? But, like I said, Kishimoto did get, you know, get the hands for that. And when he got those levels of critique, he, he did step up and fix what needed to be fixed. I do believe that. So, was it perfect? No. But he, it did get development. I wouldn't say a lack. Uh, that was lazy, didn't really do anything but gamble, and then she kind of stepped into the plate, played her roles, did pretty good as a Hokage. Yeah, Tsunade is great. I don't care, Tsunade is uh, great. But it's just like, the other people, they're not important to the story. Like, who do we have? Like, Mei, uh, like, uh, Tsunade's, uh, Apprentice, uh, what else do we have? Like, I can't, like, Ino, Tintin, uh, Hinata, Tintin, Tamari, 
I mean, like, well, they Tomorrow were was cool. The story. They were never sure. Her. So I don't. Yeah. Like, they I didn't mean, really yeah, have, I, like, more... any, like, huge emphasis on the story. I, I'll agree on that, too. But they were still really cool. And if you look at it, you know, like I said, in other aspects or perspectives, there was development. And it was cool. You know what I mean? Like, I so, disagree with this know. one. For the most part, anyway. Um, aside yeah. from, like, Tsunade. Like I said. But... I think Sakura did pretty well. I mean, I think... Yeah, I'll, I'll give them this one. This is a fair point. The only thing I could be with this one, which I think would just be being nitpicky, is to say that... Yeah. Oh, how is this a harsh reality? It's just, like, you know, one bad thing. But, I mean, you know, I'm not going to do that. Many conflicting messages. Okay, I got to read this we one. You have to read this one, yeah. What the fuck? Naruto is portrayed as the Many underdog. Many conflicting of... messages. Fuck the... <laughs> What? Okay. Facing discrimination due to being a Jinchuriki and works his way up from the bottom. However, Hagoromo reveals that Naruto is the reincarnation of Ashura during the... You know what people ignore about this, Eli? In mm. this in this conversation Hagoromo has with Naruto, he says, you know, just being the reincarnation or descendant of someone doesn't give you all their power. He says that to yeah. Naruto. Word for word. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. I, I don't I just I never understand this I think me personally I think the part point of Naruto was to show that Naruto can be this strong if he learns how to use it I don't think it was supposed to be like he was a complete underdog you, you know what I mean yeah yeah I understand what you mean and I feel like the messages kind of change and they're trying to lead up to something like because I feel like yeah, I feel like the message has changed. There's like the underdog thing they have. Then they have like uh, the destiny thing. Then they have uh, uh, yeah, they have like a couple of. But messages. even with I don't the think destiny any of them thing, ever conflict with each other. Yeah, but even with the destiny thing, because people that's someone people say conflicts with the underdog thing. With the destiny thing, they're like, oh, Naruto just fell into destiny. Neji was right, but Naruto breaks the cycle that Indra and Ashura kept going through. Sasuke yeah. was about to keep it going. Madara yep. and Ashurama kept true. it going. Yep. Indra and Ashura started it. Naruto, Naruto broke it. Boom. You know what I mean? I was Absolutely. And then not only that, I, that is a, that is a good point he's bringing up. Indeed. A lot of people pull up the whole Nechi side of things and like, oh, you know, yada yada, and it was fucking stupid. It's like contradicted, you know, and yada yada. But if you really think about it, what you guys got to remember, Naruto was a fucking nobody. All because he had the nine tails in him, it didn't do shit for him. It actually made his life more depressing, more miserable, more harder to be a fucking ninja. He didn't have any parents, nada. Okay, like, he could have easily made a decision just to give up. And guess what? Useless and completely changed the story of Naruto. You know what I mean? Like, completely. So then where's the whole destiny argument? Oh, you know, blah, blah, whatever. No, you have the power to change your destiny. You have the power to meet your goals or dreams or evolution or transformation, whatever the fucking case may be, you have the ability to make that change. Okay. And at the end of the day, they did a very great job with that. I most definitely disagree because if Naruto made a decision of giving up, then bam, that defeats the whole purpose of that argument. You know what I mean? And then two, if Naruto became evil, okay, a whole other fucking destiny and thing. You know what I mean? Because if if I'm being really honest, out of any of the characters to really be evil, in, which would have been a really awesome what if scenario if Naruto did become evil instead of good, like, then where's the whole Neji bullshit and, you know, critique and, and yada yada. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah, I, I do agree. It's fucking stupid. And then most importantly, guys, another thing you gotta, you gotta really understand as well is, you know, just like with Six and, and that guy said, he changes literally his destiny. He breaks the cycle with many fucking things. You know what I mean? Many things. So I don't agree on that at all. And then there's just so much contra like contradicting evidence of people literally complimenting Naruto and telling him, wow, you, you are one of a kind. You're very unique. You have the ability to really speak and reach out to people's hearts, change people's perspectives you know, uh, you know, uh, make impact on your own destiny and yada yada and you name it always. You know what I mean? So definitely would disagree with that. And I just, that's just not fucking true. It's really stupid. Um, really, really stupid. 
And yeah, that's that's just me. So that that I don't know. That's a really dumb one. I feel like he, they were really just trying to have, find something to, to fucking talk shit about. You know what I'm saying? So it's like exactly. It, it's so weird to me when people bring this up. I feel like they don't actually watch Naruto. Like this is yeah. such a common opinion. I think people just say it to to stay safe. You to stay I mean? safe or to just be yeah. toxic yeah, and be negative. Right it also seems odd that everyone in Konoha initially hates him before the entire world starts rooting for him during the war. Naruto already presents himself. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Let me, let me redo that. My mom texted me. <laughs> it also seems odd that everyone in Konoha initially hates him before the entire world starts rooting for him during the war. Naruto already presents himself as a war hero from the start rather than gaining everybody's respect by the end of the war. Um, I mean... What did you expect? The, the demon inside him destroyed their village and killed some of their family. I mean, yeah. what yeah, would like... you feel about him? <laughs> and then he steps up to the plate and is protecting their village and is like the main like powerhouse to the village. I, I don't. These are just how people think. I yeah, would react like the same of course way. They, of course, they would change their mind. First, they think he's a demon baby. Then they're like, oh, he's not a demon baby. That nigga kind of cool. He kind of saved us type shit. Yep. Naruto literally made the nigga who killed them bring them back to life. Why would they not change their minds? Yep. And, and it's like, okay, Naruto at first he was about convincing the village, which he which he did. He accomplished that with pain. And then after the war arc, he convinced the world he was like the hero. Exactly. It, yeah, and also like at the beginning, I don't know why anyone would like him. Did you see what he was doing to like some of the? Did you see what he did to the the with all the Hokages and the rock? I forgot what it was called. The, the Hokage he was like a monument? bad kid. Yeah, yeah he was, he was, like, he was like a kid. bad kid, and yeah. that's partially because of Haruzen just not raising him. But yeah, we could talk about that another day. But yeah, I understand yeah. why people didn't. Like Naruto's him. reason for becoming Hokage also sort of changes throughout the story yeah at first it's become hokage to get respect and then after a talk with itachi it's get respect then become hokage um which was nice that was a that was yep. a nice you know thing all right naruto relies on karama way too often this is the point oh of it being inside of him oh my god this is the point of it being inside of him the <laughs> point of karama being inside of naruto was so cool that that's really fucking stupid and I'm, I'm gonna shut that shit down right now that is either someone just being so fucking i can't even think of the word because that just pissed me off okay that, that's a noodles moment right there it's the whole fucking point bro and if you really want to fucking pull that card the motherfucker eventually makes a promise to not even use the nine tails power, okay, and only his own power, and which mean brings him eventually along the route of mastering summoning jutsu, fucking sage mode, fucking you know shadow clones, the rising gun, like all this shit that he did without the nine tails, because he wanted to use his own power. Not the Nine Tails, and then utilizes his own power to whoop the Nine Tails' ass in order to conquer and control its power. That's a dumb fucking critique and stupid ass argument. That is so fucking dumb. And if anything, most definitely not the harsh reality of liking Naruto. I don't know about you guys, but whenever Naruto went the fucking Nine Tails mode, I got hyped as fucking shit. I, I, it was amazing. The first point we ever even see shit hit the fan is against Haku. That shit was goaded in the anime. You know, you know, in the manga, it's, it's great too. But in the anime, oh my god, the music. It, just the whole fucking thing. It was awesome. It was kind of like the same uh, feeling of seeing Goku go Super Saiyan for the first time. You know what I mean? And then so on and so forth. Like, like That's like saying bitching about Goku using Super Saiyan. Like, it's so fucking stupid. Like, bro, it, it, that it, that was good in so many goddamn ways, if I'm really being honest with you. In so many ways. Anytime the Nine Tails ever came out, and it wasn't like it was 24-7. It was either because he either got fucked up and killed or whatever, and Bam had saved him or whatever, or healed him, and he needed to rely on the power, or something bad happened, and that's why, which is like an 
almost every fucking anime show, nine to the ten, most of the main characters have like a secret monster or demon or type of amp ability that fucking makes them get crazy powerful because, you know, whatever. It's in so many animes, but yet people are going to critique it in Naruto. Like, it's so dumb. And they did an amazing fucking job with it. The lore behind it, the mysteriousness, the concept of the Nine Tails, when he would use the power, then kind of like how he was doing a tug of war of competing against the power, then mastering the power, then learning more about, you know, it, it was an amazing, amazing fucking thing. Get the fuck out of here talking about the Nine Tails in a negative way. Like, that's so dumb. So fucking dumb. <laughs> Like, come on now, you know what I mean? Like, that was a, an incredible thing, bro. Even the fucking, the, the Sasuke fight in the, the f uh, final valley of the end, where Naruto, every time he goes, and I tell him he's over here just making Sasuke shit his pants, giving him the hand, like, come on, bro. The movies, like, no, nah, get the fuck out of here. Naruto could rely on Kurama. Why does this matter? Why, Eli, why is this a bad thing? I don't, I don't know. Like Sasuke relies on the uh, on the shower guard too much. Like what? Like, like it's it's part of him. <laughs> what the fuck? Literally, bro. Like, I'm Naruto not, relies on the Rasengan guard too much. Like yeah, what? I'm not fucking with like Goku relies on the Kamehameha way too much. Goku Literally. relies on being a Saiyan too much. Literally. Literally, bro. I, I don't. That's fucking stupid. That's so fucking childish. Like, it, they're, they're fucking devices for the MC to use. All of them have them, bro. Like, what the fuck? I don't. I just. I don't get this type of shit. And like, literally, I don't know if people know, but Naruto has been training his entire life. Like, when he was in that apartment alone, he would constantly train. I mean, we literally. Uh, they show this in part one. He's always been training. I don't understand. Naruto constantly chases Sasuke. Oh my god. It's bad. Plot. <laughs> bro <laughs> I hate this shit so much <laughs> I'm gonna let them talk first I hate this shit Goku so much bro is constantly trying to get strong like, it's, still, it's, like, like, bro, it's a goal make... bro Sasuke has his own goal Naruto has his own goal a sub goal of Naruto is to bring back Sasuke like come on man like if, if your friend started going down a terrible path I mean, would you like? I don't think we would go as far as Naruto did, just being realistic. But would you not try to, you know, help him, and bring him back? <laughs> but like, we have to realize this is like a ninja world where everyone is dependent with their life. I mean, think of what Sasuke did for Naruto at this point yeah. with Haku and uh, and other villains. I, I I think it's definitely understandable and how ambitious that Naruto is as a character. I just this isn't surprising to me. Yeah, like we wake up, we check our iPhone, blah blah blah. These niggas wake up and sharpen kunai to like get ready to go kill people. Yep. Uh, yeah. It's just it's just a it's different just, world, different. bro. Yeah. Naruto has hundreds of episodes to get through. Okay. So my take on that. They didn't really elaborate too much because they were kind of really irritated and annoyed from that, and I don't fucking blame them. But my whole take on that, this is this is I'm gonna say the positive first. It's not a bad thing. The way Kishimoto went about it, the emphasis he did on it, you know, with the story, the relationship as the characters, then the plot development, the connections to everything, it all makes sense and it all works. And it's, excuse me, it's actually a really awesome fucking thing they did. Like, if I had to, like, to make any change of, like, that not happening or whatever... I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. I thought it was a really awesome fucking thing Kishimoto did. And at the end of the j day, just like what Six said and the other guy, if your best friend or someone you consider family, whatever, next thing you know, they're just taking a crazy path because something bad happened in their life or a tragedy, whatever, and they're, they've, they're, they've changed, they're doing stupid shit, and you want to help them because you care about them, what, whatnot, anybody would fucking go that route. You know what I mean? Like, and, and most definitely like what Six said in a realistic aspect side of things, a lot of people would more than likely never go to the extent Naruto did, but at the same time, there is people that would actually still do that. And three, just like they also said, the conditions are different. It's completely fucking different. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's not really a bad thing. It's a, It was a good thing for many fucking reasons, okay? And then most importantly, like fucking... 
when you really uh, think about it, like there was there was just so many layers to that. You know what I mean? Like of it, like when Six said as well as sub goal. You know what I mean? Where he considered him a rival, looked up to him because Sasuke was like a fucking genius and a prodigy, and you name it, and had his own shit. Naruto had like other small goals to kind of surpass him or compete or be better or whatever. Like there was just so much to it of why. And then at the end of the day, the most important concept of the character of Naruto was him always trying to be the hero or save other people. Even if they didn't deserve it, even if, you know what I mean, like it was... You know, while everyone else would more likely just give up on the fucking guy. Like, that was the whole point of Naruto. He's just built different. He's that guy. He has a massive, kind, naive heart. You know what I mean? Just like what Jiraiya was roasting him about and all the other characters giving him shit about. You know how many people told him to just give up on Sasuke? So many fucking people. That's how it would be in the real world. If there was someone doing all this shit and whatnot that Sasuke did... Not only would billions of people probably give up on the guy, but so many people would be telling you that you're fucking crazy. Like, what is up with you? Why are you, you know what I mean? Why are you so obsessed or this or whatever? Like, forget the fucking guy. You know what I mean? Like, you really consider that a friend? Yada, yada. So, overall, not only is it, it can be like a relatable, realistic thing as well, there's nothing really wrong with it. Like, it's not a bad fucking thing. It did a lot of good, if anything. So... I absolutely do agree. I think that's really fucking stupid to bitch about or to or to put as a critique of liking Naruto. There's nothing wrong about it. You know what I mean? Like, no, that there's even other animes that kind of establish the same fucking shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's just dumb. Like once again, that's just the type of thing they're just trying to put out there and just to, you know what I mean? Either just to be petty or they can't really find shit and they're like, oh, let's just put this in, right? This this make this works, right? This. This can be seen as a negative, bad thing, right? You know, it's, no, it's really not that deep and not that serious. And the only other point I will say, the negative, the only thing I can at least give to people is that, yes, it, it could have been, I guess, annoying or repetitive. You know what I mean? With how many times Naruto or Sakura is always Sasuke this, Sasuke that, or Sasuke, 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 and whatever, yada, yada. Like, I can get that, but when you really analyze everything and you connect all the dots... It makes sense, it's beneficial, and it works. You know what I mean? So that's all I'll say. And, and I can go a little bit even more to it, but I, I'm not. It, it's, that's just dumb. I mean, <laughs> you can't really argue with that. I mean, I guess. <laughs> like, this shit is just true, bro. I don't really think that's a bad thing, but... I mean, just don't actually, watch it if you don't want to watch a lot of episodes. Just, like, ask you, yeah. just to ask you, do you think Naruto like could have been shorter? Is there anything you would have cut out to make it shorter? <sighs> like not including filler? Yeah, not including filler. I think every arc like does good. I mean, I feel like we learn everything in every arc now. Yeah, yeah I like it. Look, like, me personally. Perfectly. Shit, n not even that. I think we should have got fucking more. If I'm really being honest, we should have got more. Like... I'm going to put the, the video link in, in the description down below. But I had a video of uh, Sakamo Hatake. Uh, and the title of it was like Naruto Shinobi Legends or what, you know, we should have had instead of Borto, basically. And I wish we had more episodes. You know what I mean? Whether if it was filler or an actual thing, whatever. I wish we actually had more information on the fucking guy. Instead of all the hype and all the legendary, you know, talking. Like, you know, like imagine hearing all about the fourth Akage and Minato, but never seen anything with him. Or imagine hearing about Hashirama and Madara, but never seen anything with them. Same shit. We got that with a lot of people in Naruto. And it was literally to the point where it's like, it's more of the opposite. I wish there was more episodes in Naruto. You know, more fucking screen time of characters that I wish we could have seen or had more story with, you know, X, Y, and Z, you name it. Like, bro, if I could actually just have like 30 minutes to myself and just write a list or type or whatever, or just make a, uh, have a podcast and talk about or make a YouTube video on, there could be so many things that I could pull up of like, I really wish we saw more of this character. Or I really wish we had answers to this. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Like, that's just so dumb. Like, that's what makes shows really good. The more that there is, the more entertaining, the more mysterious it is, the more suspense... It, it overall it, it if it's done right it is a positive can it be a negative absolutely but for naruto hell no it's the opposite complete opposite 
And at the end of the day, I actually wish there was more. There should have been more. If, if there really is going to be a critique, there should have been more when it came to certain concepts of Naruto or especially characters. So I'll just leave it at that. I would cut out the Kaze Kage rescue arc. Oh, uh, I, I guess. I mean, like, that's not something that I would, like, care. Yeah, I, I would cut that out. Out, I wouldn't care. Um... But yeah, I mean, Naruto does have hundreds of episodes. What's number one? Kaguya replaces Madara as the final villain. Now, I don't... I, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, most of my refutation from this, I got from Seth. Uh, just from a talk we had. And I know he's gonna bring it up in his big Naruto video. He does... Uh, he's been talking about on Twitter and whatnot. So I don't... I'm not gonna step on his toes in any way and say some of the things he would say about this. Uh, everyone can go watch that whenever that comes out. What, like what, like I said, whenever it comes out. Uh, and, <clears throat> and you can comment on that on his video. Do you have anything to say? Um, yeah, I think this is bad. I think Kagi replacing this was just a really perfect for leading on into Boruto. I mean, as some people can make the point like, oh, well, they should have never made Boruto. Personally, I really like Boruto. And I think that Modern like not being the final well. villain it's fine i think mean, like, i have no problem with it at all i like i love how they have to go against this kind of like this this demon being that doesn't even speak that's just pure, like pure power like i kind of love that and like how they have to get through it and they use creative ways like naruto was literally using sex uh sexy no jutsu on a on a on a freaking god like i love <laughs> yeah. that. that was like so cool but i don't have yeah. a problem with it modern not being the final villain is perfectly fine with me but i know people have conflicting opinions about it um but yeah uh have a nice day so my take video would definitely get a like they did a really good job my whole take and i'm gonna put uh his channel up for you guys as well this way you guys can see what his name and make sure to check out all his videos while i'm talking but what i will say on that and i'll keep it very brief and short this video is already gonna be as long as it is it wasn't a bad thing did it catch me off guard yes and what i mean the only critique i'll kind of have on it is I feel like it was too rushed, if that makes any sense, that they rushed it. It would have been really nice to see Naruto and Sasuke or and with Kakashi and all that kind of going against Madara and fighting and whatnot, and then they're over here losing and shit, and they're about to lose, you know? And then next thing you know, bam, that's when Kaguya happens. Or, better yet, they somehow, some way find a way to defeat him, and they think it's all over and shit and that and then bam the cog you know what i mean like that they could have done a lot better in my opinion you know they could have just waited a bit more longer i feel like we should have got more out of madara when he finally got to that you know what i mean his like his final power up and everything and and shit's about to go down you name it um so i do feel like it was rushed and it was weird and i don't know if it's because kishimoto was like oh well madara is too powerful to be beaten now so this is the only way to kind of make things maybe be more interesting or conclude. Or what I, I don't know. But at the end of the day, that's the only small critique I'll give. But it was a good thing. It wasn't a bad. Like, it was actually awesome. It was really great. It was like, who the fuck is this bitch? Like, it brought a whole other thing into play. A whole other thing. It was genius. Very, very smart. Okay? So, overall, like, it could have gone either way. And even if they didn't bring Kage out, and let's say it was just Madara... You know, and either they end up either getting defeated or they end up beating whatever. And then you eventually want to introduce Kage somehow. That could have been fine too. Kage, the whole thing with that, I don't see that as a bad thing. I really fucking don't. Especially as replacing Madara as the final villain. It was really fucking cool. You know what I mean? So, I'll kind of just leave it at that, you know? Um, but if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, and of course the video that Six made of him reacting to the CBR article... Make sure to leave a like, guys. Comment your thoughts down below. Let me know any of your takes, opinions, what you think on all these, you know, topics and whatnot, everything they discussed and I kind of gave my input on. I'm curious about that. I always check my comments. Excuse me. I'm really, uh, man, my body. What's it called? Um, uh, I always check my comments and, you know, I always respond and make sure I'm keeping up with you guys. So let me know. I'm, I'm definitely here to interact with you guys and I won't leave you hanging or anything like that. Um. So yeah, I'm curious what you guys have to say and think about it. And at the end of the day, you know, 
We'll be planning more and arts content to come along the way. And subscribe for more content. Subscribe to you guys on the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.